Good morning, Explorers. Keto Explorer here, and I'm here for day two in Asheville. And today, I am spending most of the day at the Biltmore. So I'm gonna go grab me a quick little breakfast and then head over to the Biltmore Estate. I have um, tickets that includes the Leonardo da Vinci exhibit and then a tour of the house. And it also comes with a free wine tasting, but you have to reserve your time at the wine tasting once you get on site at the estate the same day. So hopefully I can give me a little wine tasting. <clears throat> I'm a little forced because it's dry in here. It's always dry in hotels. But um, yeah, it's pretty, it's really pretty outside. So let me show you real quick and then I'm gonna head out. So while we're looking at the beauty of the mountains there, um, make sure you stay to the end so you can see all that happens at the Biltmore Estate and more. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Biltmore Estate, which was about a 15 minute drive or less from my hotel in downtown Asheville. When you get inside the Biltmore, you'll scan your ticket and then you will head to your destination. I recommend if you are going to the Deer Park Center where I had to go first for my Da Vinci exhibition tour, go there first because otherwise, if you come to the house, then you have to circle all the way around the entire estate, which can take quite some time. Like, I mean, 20, 30, minutes, especially if there's traffic. Also, they do recommend you get there early because it can take up to 45 minutes to get to the house or wherever you're going on the estate park and get over to your destination. But here's the first look at the Biltmore Mansion. Okay, tourists, I've made it to the Biltmore Estate. I'm first going to do the Da Vinci exhibit, trying to figure out how to reserve my wine tasting, so all of that. So. Um, first, we will go to the Vinci exhibit at the Deer Park area. Now, in my case, I was booking the Da Vinci exhibition at the Deer Park Center and the tour of the mansion. When you go to buy the tickets, they give you two hours in between each exhibition and the mansion tour. So you have to plan an entire day here because it's a lot to see and you need a lot of time to do things and a lot of time to get around. With that said, if you are coming there and you don't have transportation, they do have some shuttle services, but you would need to look that up in advance. But it is highly recommended to have a car to get around. Or if you're just gonna do a tour of the mansion or do the wine tasting, you may want to do um, ride sharing to get to them because it, you, it's, it's impossible to walk. You'll, it'll, you'll be walking forever. But here's a look at the gardens because I had time before my Da Vinci exhibition so I went to the gardens, looked at the trail, took some photos, and it was very scenic and picturesque out here. Very peaceful at the garden area. So the Da Vinci exhibition is at the Deer Park Event Center. And if you plan to go there first, I highly recommend going there first because it's closer to like the entrance and so i just spent like 10 15 minutes driving all the way from the garden to the deer park event center to get here so let me go get in line quickly so i can get my da vinci on welcome to the amherst at deer park for the leonardo da vinci 500 years of genius exhibition which runs now through february 20th 2023 when you first walk in, as you can see, there are artifacts and information about the works of Leonardo da Vinci. But once you finish in this room, you walk over to an immersive experience, which I did not expect, actually. This was a wonderful experience. You sat there or stood there just in taking it all in, all of his artwork, all of his masterpieces with music and quotes to go along with it. When you come to this experience, you're going to need at least 45 minutes to enjoy it all. And I had a time entry of 10.15 and that was great that it was in the morning because it wasn't as crowded when I went to this exhibition. So that was cool. That, um, it kind of reminded me of like the Van Gogh immersive exhibit that I went to. I did not expect that. So it was cool and I got to relax, but I'm hungry in a little food truck back there. Back there. The chef wasn't in yet, so. That sucks. So I guess I'll drive over to the back to the house and go from there. 
So now I'm driving back over to the Goatmore Mansion for my tour, which was the time entry of 12, 15 p.m. I just did the audio tour, but you could pay for a guided tour. But make sure you get there more than 15 minutes before your entry time. They recommend 15, but you need additional time to park and walk over from the parking lot to the mansion. Also, when you get there, there is a security check and you can only have certain things that you can take inside the mansion. Also, when you go through the entry, you'll see a notification that videography is not allowed, but you can take photos without a flash at any time during your time inside the mansion. Also, you'll get your little phone remote thing once you enter so you can press the number of every room that you enter in to get the facts and history about that room. Now, this is an area where you can take video. There is a balcony where you can go out, get fresh air, and look out at the beautiful landscape while at the Biltmore. But now we're continuing on our tour. So I went through the Christmas season, which was magnificent. The mansion alone has 45 Christmas trees inside of the mansion and 67,000 lights. Imagine how long that took to get this decorated for the Christmas season and take it down. I'm sure that took some time as well. So there are multiple floors. If you're not able to go up and down stairs, you can just stay on the main level. But there is a basement with cool things like a bowling alley and a pool, which is no longer able to be used because there is a crack in the pool. Okay, so I am finished with the tour of the house. It starts to get long at the end. I started skipping some of the rooms. Like, I don't want to see the laundry room. But it was really cool. They had, I think this house with the first bowling alley. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. But as you can see, I could not take video, only photo in there. I actually saw someone take a video and they got stopped. So, but that's why you got some movement with the photos. But now I need to head over back to the winery for my tasting. It's at two and it's 126 and it's a whole thing. Gotta get back to the car, gotta drive over, gotta park, gotta walk there. So let me get going. Now for the fun part. I am now at the Antler Hill Village and Winery. Here you can see a lot of shops, restaurants, and there's also a hotel here if you would like to stay on the actual estate. But I'm going to the winery. I actually came a little bit earlier before going on the mansion tour to reserve a time. You wanna do that as early as possible because it can get booked. So you will come here earlier in the day and reserve a time with the person at the entrance or there's a QR code you can scan there where you can book on your phone, but you can't do it in advance. You have to do it the day of. And make sure you allow enough time to get to your reservation because as you can see, there's a long walk to the line and then there's a line. But the line moves pretty fast. And as you can see, there are plenty of tables for the tasting. So now we're going back to the tasting where we get to choose six different wines to taste from this menu. And we'll have the guy go over each wine as you order them. And what would you like to start with? Um, the Riesling. Okay, this is our dry Riesling. Mm -hmm. We also have the sweeter Riesling in the gift shop, not here. Okay. okay? Now, this is our first wine, then we're going to be talking, we're going to have four more wines. You get in the gift shop and you go, I had a Riesling. They know exactly which one it was. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you, you don't have to worry about that. This is going to go nice with shellfish and also baked fish, like baked salmon, baked mm. halibut with baked chicken, especially like a little lemon buttery type sauce. Gotcha. Today. Cool, thank you. Yep. In English, a loose translation means this one, get a little salt from the cheese, a little salt from the cracker, and there we go. Because I have no problem repeating it. I just want to make sure you hear it. And then also down to our Christmas food. Nothing like that, no chocolate chip. Wine stores, liquor stores, mm -hmm. we do not sell to them. We only gotcha. sell this here. The other ones we do, mm -hmm. but not. Mm -hmm. Pie, apple pie. Mm -hmm. My suggestion is you take the tiny sip first, you let your taste buds know what's coming. Once that happens, then your next sip is fine. Now, like I said, I was hungry a long time ago, so I decided to step into this village social bar to have lunch. I could sit at the bar. It was pretty crowded. You usually need reservations for a lot of these restaurants. It appears there might be some that you don't, but this one I was able to go in and sit at the bar and have a chicken salad sandwich, which was delicious. The service was great. I enjoyed eating there. 
But now let's just take a look around the village. You can see all these different types of buildings and shops. And this area was also decorated for Christmas. So I ended up staying here until it got dark so I could take photographs of the Christmas lights. That was my focus once it got dark, just looking at the Christmas lights and taking photos. And I really enjoyed this train area. I just love trains and seeing these toy trains riding around with different themes and countries and stuff was really cool to check out as well. There are so many things to see at the village and check out. And like I said, the hotel is located here. So it's really convenient to have all of these different things that you can experience right here in the village. But if you are here during Christmas time, definitely head back over to the mansion so you can see the Christmas lights out front. But even if you aren't there for Christmas, it's nice to see how the house looks at night as well. It's definitely worth the drive back over and the long drive back out. So with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's free for you to do so and helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a little tip down below and or, or you can check out my merchandise shop down below. Oh, and make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.